Hey guys, welcome to my channel. It is of course Q&A Friday and I'm so glad that you are here. I'm Pamela Bassa, the founder of The Lucrative Lady and if you're here, you have joined us on Q&A Friday where every Friday I answer a question from my audience either from the comment section, on social media, via email or however the comment came. I'm answering all of those questions uh, on Fridays. So I have uh, a really great question for Q&A Friday today. So if it is your first time here, I'm really, really glad to have you. Do stick around with us. I publish three times a week, so make sure you subscribe, turn on your bell, so that you will be the first to know when uh, I drop a video and I publish three times a week. So today's question is, should my store name be my business name? My business name doesn't necessarily tell what I do or should I do something a little bit different or descriptive? Really, really good question. Now, naming your business is big business. You definitely want to have a name that reflects what it is that you do. A great name can have a really significant impact on your entire business, right? It, it's all about how people feel when they come to your store because a good name is also memorable. People want to go to a store and remember that, oh, this was the name of the store. You want to find a really good short name a name that's easy to remember, a name that represents something. So here are some things that you can think about when deciding on the name for your store. The first thing you can do when deciding on the name of your store is to choose a name that reflects your store. So for this, you could try an Etsy shop name that directly reflects to your business. So for example, if you're in the knitting space, add the word knit or come up with something that, that has to do with knitting. Or if you're in the plant space, come up with something to do with plants. For example, one of my favorite stores, for plants is called Plantarina. You see what they did there? There's another one that I like called the House Plant Nursery. So there's no doubt when you get into their store that it's about house plants, right? It's about plants. You just know what it's about. There's another store that I love that's called Reclaimed Wood UK. You see that? So it's really about what it is that they do. So therefore, when you're in that store, you have zero doubt. Another thing that you can do when it comes to naming your business is to uh, use your own name. So I could use my my own name. I could call. I could. I could call my store Shop Pam or Bassa. A lot of people use that. So if you're really stuck and you're not sure what to do, you can just use your own name because then people get to know you and they keep coming back to your store because of you. The second thing you can think about when it comes to naming your shop is to make it memorable. Think about a memorable name that you could use. And when you think about a name, what you do to test drive if it is memorable is to start talking about it. Mention it to some friends or families to see what they say. Do they go, "Oh, that's a really good name." Or, "Oh." Ooh, I like that. Like, just test what is their reaction. That's how you know, oh, this is a good name. This is really, really memorable. Last but not least, make it SEO friendly. So you can use a name that people are already typing in and searching for. So to do this, you definitely want to think about your products. Like, what are people coming into your store for? For example, if you're making soap, then there's a store called Soap Making Tools. Again, see how SEO friendly that is? I can actually see somebody typing in Soap Making Tools. And guess what pops up? the store called Soap Making Tools. So that's a really, really good way to think about a store name that is SEO friendly because people are already typing that name into the search bar and therefore you give your business really uh, all the marketing that it needs. So I hope some of those strategies, you know, um, you found useful and you're going to be using some of those to come up with a name for your Etsy store. I hope that um, you have um, had value from just watching, uh, joining me in Q&A today. Make sure that you stick around for more of Q&A by, by catching this playlist over here. But of course, if you haven't subscribed to this channel, this is a good time to subscribe. Make sure you subscribe and help us to grow. And of course, share this video because it helps me and it helps other people. God bless you and I'll see you in my next video.